Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Pat from Cal Aquatic Supply and Hatchery. I want to do a quick video uh, on this Labor Day about treating columnaris and some options on treating your fish. I'm going to try to ramble quickly through this because I know people don't like to sit and watch idiots look at themselves in the camera. Um, to, make a little, to go back in history here, um, I lost a big Rio Magdalena umby to some columnaris. Mouth, its mouth got really bad. Um, it was a pretty traumatic experience trying to treat it. It got so bad, the necrosis, to where we were removing the fish daily and actually hand-treating its mouth, um, which was obviously the wrong approach. Uh, we didn't know what we were doing. We didn't know what we were up against. But I learned from that, and I wasn't going to let it happen again. So after that time, uh, I found some Furan 2. I did research. I found that there's two antibiotic treatments, uh, Furan 2 and um, canamycin. You can use those two treatments together and supposedly it's 100% effective, works great. But uh, right now there's a bit of a shortage of Furan 2. If you try to find it on Amazon or local pet stores, if you do find some, you're lucky, snatch it up. Uh, the market's kind of empty. I've heard that they will start producing more of it. It's just right now they're not. I'm not sure if it has to do with uh, COVID. I don't know what it has to do with. But Anyways, production has been stymied, so to speak. So I did some research to get away from the antibiotic treatments because there's a lot of new legislation that's making antibiotics harder and harder to get. And I get that, I understand. And in my research, I found that there's some hatcheries and fisheries that are using non-antibiotic treatments. And one of those that I'm focusing on today is potassium permanganate. I don't know if you can see that. And so these hatcheries are using this and salt and there's two different treatments with the potassium permanganate. You can do a slower, less aggressive, um, which is a two milligrams per liter um, over the course of like three or four hours. Uh, or you can do 10 milligrams per liter over the course of 30 minutes. And this is recommended for people who are shipping or bagging uh, fish. That 30 minutes when they're in a tub, you know, when you catch them, put them in a tub, carry them to the bagging station, that 30 minutes is a great time to do this treatment. Um, once again, this isn't something that I recommend anybody to do just based off this video, but do some research and find out, you know, figure out what works for you. But this is what I'm doing. And I'm doing this because my red dovi male started showing um, the preliminary indications of having some columnaris in his mouth. And I can't find furan too. I've got canamycin, which I will use as my last resort. But right now I just want to use the potassium permanganate and salt. And this is a video showing how I treat them. Um, so potassium permanganate is a oxidizer so it can do some it can have different reactions it's very react it's very reactive <laughs> hard to get that out um, survivalists mix it with glycerin and it causes fire you can start fires camping whatever with it um, but in this industry in my application with the fish it oxidizes the bacteria. It'll oxidize good bacteria and, and bad bacteria. So you want to isolate your filter beds, remove your foams, turn off your filter. Like I'm doing, I turned off my pumps. So the lower filter where all the bacterial beds are, it's isolated. And I'm going to lower the tank down to about 100 gallons because the math is easier. I have to use less of the product. And after that 30 minutes is up, I can immediately turn on water and start filling the tank. Um, and as soon as you start filling, the dechlorinator and the water start neutralizing the potassium permanganate and it turns into kind of a rusty, muddy water appearance. Um, but that's what you get and it, it is very effective against columnaris or duck lips. Um, after that, you want to add salt to the tank. Um, they recommend between 2 and 10 parts per thousandths, so I'll be doing that as well. Um, so enjoy the video. If you haven't already, subscribe. It's Cal Aquatic Supply and Hatchery. My name is Pat. I've got uh, small...
very small breeding operation of cichlids here in my house. It's me, my wife, and my son. So subscribe, subscribe, watch our videos, and enjoy. Hope you guys are having a great Labor Day. So here we've got that male red dovi. You can see up there in his mouth. It's a little red and discolored. The back left, or if you're the fish, the back right. It's where the lower teeth kind of lock behind the upper teeth. And it's just an irritated spot. Looks a little swollen, looks a little red, and it just progresses into full-on duck lips to where their lips swell up. And the tissue over time will start to separate from the, the bone structure. It gets pretty gnarly. So this is him as I'm draining down the water. And this is the water completely drained down to about roughly 100 gallons. So I'm pouring in the potassium per permanganate, which I've already mixed with a little bit of water. I don't want to dump powder into the tank because if that's stuck to the fish by accident, it might cause some sort of damage because potassium permanganate will oxidize anything organic, bacteria, algae, the, f the fish itself. Um, it is oxidizing the outer layers of the gills and the gill tissue. So you want to be aware of all these factors when you decide to try to do this. So now I'm just mixing it up with my hand. You don't want any super hot spots of the treatment. And as soon as that stuff hits, hits the tank, the 30 minute timer is started. I've got the pumps turned off, you know, to the lower filtration. So the, the main filter beds are protected. Only that sponge filter that's in the tank will be, if not fully oxidized and, and killed, you know, a big portion of the bacteria in it will be, but that's fine. And this whole time I'm monitoring the fish. All right, 30 minutes is up. So in moments, after turning on the water and adding dechlorinator, the potassium permanganate loses that pretty purplish, I don't know, is that fuchsia? I don't know my colors very well, but it loses that color and it turns into that rusty, muddy water. And as you can see, the fish are doing fine the whole time. Want to monitor them, make sure they're not breathing too heavy or, you know, any, anything negative. Here's the tank after five or six hours. Everybody's acting normal. Me and the family went on for a little, or me and the family went for a little walk. Long walk, three hours. Paxton went fishing, didn't catch anything. The creek was up a little bit. Here you can see he's kind of doing that coughing motion. I think that's because he can feel that, you know, oxidizer affecting his mouth, whatever that bacterial infection was. It's feels different to him. I'm only assuming. As you can see, he hasn't lost any aggression. And here's the following day. Turned on the lights. This is about an hour after turning on the lights. You can see everybody's acting normal. He is, you know, confronting me this whole video, just staring right at me. Females back there, I'm pretty sure they're going to spawn on those Mexican cobblestones again. They seem to like that spot. So uh, potassium permanganate, 10 milligrams per liter for 30 minutes. It's a good alternative for the uh, Furan 2 and the canamycin. So here I'll add salt, probably do 10 parts per thousandths. I'll max that because columnaris does not live well in saline or high saline conditions. And you can see here in a moment that the it's gone from red and inflamed to less red, more blackish, and less inflamed. I think the secret is catch it early.
keep an eye on those those gum lines, those teeth lines. If you see any red, treat up front. Better better be safe than to face this bacteria when you're behind the power curve, especially when furan or you know furan two is in short supply. Supposedly there's some intolerant or uh, resistant strains to candomycin, so I'm doing that as a last resort. You can see it looks better. So, that's the first treatment, day after. Thanks again for watching these videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll try to give you some sort of content that can help you in a pinch. Hope you have a great Labor Day.